God is good. When God warns you, obey. Yeah. Uh, in, <clears throat> in Matthew chapter 2, verse 12, it says, And being warned of God in a dream, uh, that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring thee word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. Uh, listen, you realize that Herod is trying real hard to take the life of baby Jesus? Imagine the creature is trying to take the life of the creator. Yeah, that's deep stuff. Uh, but he's trying to do it because he doesn't want any competition in terms of him being on the throne. But why I said that when God warns you, you must obey. God has warned the wise men not to return to Herod and tell him where baby Jesus is. And the wise men obeyed. They could have said, well, Herod is the person in authority. He said we should come back and tell him. But listen, they understand the hierarchy. They understood who is higher than who. They understood that God is higher than Herod. God is higher than any earthly ruler. And if you have to make a decision as to who to obey, remember to obey God rather than man. Remember that. That is what the wise men did. Now, switch to Joseph. Joseph is told, pick up the child and go, run into Egypt. Joseph could have said, well, I'm not the real father of that child. And he could have complained. But here again, Joseph understood clearly that God is giving the order. So I need to obey God. As you go through life, as you go through today, as you go through next year, remember, please, when you are struggling to make a decision as to whether to obey God or man, hurry up and obey God. That is the way we run our lives. We ought to obey God rather than man. God and Father, guide us as we go through the day and help us as we go through the week and as we go through next year to always make the decision to obey you, God, rather than man, in spite of what it will cost us. In Jesus' name I thank you. Amen. May God richly bless us. True.